much. Time now is 8.01 this Sunday morning. A year ago today, tragedy struck Memphis. Tyree Nichols was beaten by Memphis police officers so severely his injuries would lead to his death days later. Today, the community will gather where it happened to honor his life and legacy one year later. I spoke with Tyree's oldest sister who says even through the pain of losing her brother, she is still fighting for change. There's a sense of peace over me, and so that is awkwardly a sense of peace over me, but I'm doing very well, um, to say the least. Yet it remains difficult to make sense of what happened to her brother on January 7th, 2023. It doesn't even feel like it's been a whole year, for one. For two, it's been a roller coaster ride of emotions, of Doing things that are new, you know, having to grieve in the public eye is been far most the worst experience. I don't wish that on anybody. Brutally beaten following a traffic stop and short chase, many witnessed what happened to Nichols. Dixon says she'll never watch the video, but she's using the pain that lingers to make a difference through the Tyree Nichols Foundation. A lot of kids never been out their own neighborhoods. They don't know what's outside, you know, provide cameras. So I, I thought of a program where kids can take cameras and just take pictures of their own neighborhoods. And what do they see, actually see? Because a lot of times they're not asked. And a lot of time environment plays a big role in the way kids act, the way they perceive themselves. Dixon says she hopes she's able to get a regional skate park in Memphis through the foundation and wants to be able to help kids take field trips, exposing them to the arts, which she says her brother loved. Sunday night, she'll return to the very spot where it happened at Castlegate and Ross. The original plan was to honor him at Tom Lee Park, but she decided people needed to revisit where it all happened. I know that with the community support and just being around my mom, because she's just like the strongest lady I know. <laughs> and so just knowing that we're going to celebrate him, that gives me peace. Well, Dixon also told me the best way people can support the foundation is by spreading the word and telling friends so others know about the life her brother lived as well as monetary donations. You can learn more about it by visiting the Tyree Nichols Foundation.org. That vigil is tonight at 7 p.m. again at the intersection of Castlegate Lane and Ross Road.